Hi, this is a quick update. I am 7 DPO today. I have not gotten back the results from my progesterone draw yet, um, or else I would have already let you guys know. I'm very patiently waiting. I've already called once and left a message. Um, but I did want to tell you about my first day of taking Prometrium, 200 milligrams. Um, it is a progesterone supplement, um, normally taken by women who are uh, prone to miscarriage or people who have luteal phase defects like I do. I start AF too soon. Therefore, it is difficult um, for a baby to implant and to survive because I normally start AF before it has a chance to do so or before my body even realizes if one does implant. Um, so anyway, I heard terrible stories about Prometrium and how terrible it was and the side effects were pretty bad. And I, I think I remember reading to take it pretty late at night. Um, I got off yesterday at 3. I had planned on taking it as soon as I had my blood work done, which was yesterday at, I'm sorry. Yes. What day? Yes, yesterday. Um, at like 8 o'clock in the morning. Um, I didn't take it, thank God. I went to work, I got off at 3, I got home around 4, had to deal with the dogs and stuff like that. About 6.30, after I ate dinner, I took the Prometrium uh, orally, and I was fine. I sat down on my computer and was doing some things on my computer, um, and all of a sudden I heard a noise and I turned my head, you know, swiftly like that, and the room did not move as fast as my head did. It was terrible. Um, I was basically, I was drunk. I mean, it's the best way to, for me to explain it. It was like as if I had downed five pints of pure alcohol. I was completely out of it. Um, you know, I've, I've read the side effects before. In fact, I even have them, I, yeah, I still have them right here next to me because I had read them um, right before I took it. I had read it before, but I wanted to read it again. And I'll read to you. Um, what it says. It says possible side effects um, that you could have while taking this medicine. Um, drowsiness, tiredness, dizziness, nausea, vomiting, bloating, fluid retention, irritability, diarrhea, headache, breast tenderness, stomach ache or cramping, spotting or breakthrough bleeding, muscle pain or mild hair loss. Well, um, I don't know. I guess whenever you you know, read symptoms, side effects and stuff like that, you think about one or two of them possibly happening and you see them as individual things. I never thought that it would all be on top of each other and that it would make me feel drunk. So I was really worried and I got on TMP and as best as I could, I typed um, Prometrium, I feel drunk, help, <laughs> because I didn't know what was going on and I didn't think, I had never heard anyone refer to it that way. So I was really worried something was wrong. Um, so I then did a, a Google search for Prometrium makes me feel drunk, and I found tons of stuff. So apparently this is common. I wasn't the only one. So I'm just warning you, if you take it, take it the moment you're planning on really going to bed. I felt drunk for about three hours. The room was spinning. Um, at one point I even feel like I couldn't really control, this is kind of TMI, but like, my mouth, I kind of would feel, you know, spit coming out of my mouth, not knowing I was doing it. Um, when I lay down in bed, I had to lay down really slowly because it just was not good. And I do have to say, before I continue with all of this, um, that I've never done any recreational drugs, and I don't do well with, um, like, pain medications and stuff, strong prescription ones, narcotics. Um, because I'm not used to it, I had to have Demerol once in the emergency room when I had my gallbladder removed, and I was gripping the sides of the bed. The walls were just going up on the sides of me, and I was freaking out um, just from Demerol. So I, I guess I don't have a good tolerance to that. But I've never noticed having side effects on other medications, you know, um, for colds or flus or, you know, anything like that, even prescription stuff, for migraine, you know, nothing. So, but Prometrium definitely had fun with me. Um, after about three hours, I was sober again. I wasn't 
feeling drunk anymore. But I had a horrible headache come on. Um, I suffer with migraines uh, with aura. They usually are around the time that I have menstrual issues. Um, I guess a sudden drop or rise in my hormones, maybe. Um, aura, if you don't have migraines with aura, what aura is, is it, it's normally something that deters your vision. Mine looks like a lightning bolt, but it stays constant. And it starts off usually here or right in the inside, and it gets bigger. And it runs this process right out of my vision. And then the migraine comes in and the nausea. Um, whenever I, I get the, the aura, I don't necessarily, it's not right directly in front of me, but I'll be looking at someone and all of a sudden I just can't see their nose. All of a sudden this will be missing. Um, and I'll know that I'm getting one. So it's pretty bad. But, um, point of me telling you all that is when I get a migraine, um, of course it's very painful. It's usually centralized over here, but in order for me to go to bed, which is really the only thing that helps with my migraine, I lay down, and I'm never comfortable, but I find a position that is least uncomfortable, and I have to just stay there and try to fall asleep. Um, that's what I had to do last night with the Prometrium. It was a really bad headache, but it wasn't a migraine, but it was pretty close. Um, and I finally fell asleep. I don't even know what time it was, but it was pretty terrible. Um, I will definitely be taking it when I am ready to pass out because I, I don't know if I can, how long I can do that. I had put on, um, TMP. Should I stop taking it and wait to hear from my doctor or something else? And I was told, no, don't stop because, you know, you don't want to miss your chance. And I don't. So I will be taking it again, and I'll let you know if for some reason I can't fall asleep because I have a funny feeling I'm I'm not going to be able to because I, um, I tend to worry too much, especially when it comes to stuff like that. So we'll see what happens. I'll let you know. Um, I am very anxious to hear back from the doctor. If I don't hear from them tomorrow, I'm going to be the crazy person that goes to the doctor. And ask to know my, it's just a number. I just want to know the number. That's it. I want to know if, I'm hoping that it was above 10, obviously, or 15, actually, obviously, but I want it to be like 55. You know, I want it to be something amazing. Um, so I got my fingers crossed. Let's see. Um, I've been, um, this morning I did a internet cheapie, um, OPK. And it was, I mean, it was super light. You almost didn't even see the, the, the test line. So mm, that's not so good. Uh, my temperature did go up a little bit today. So it's back over the cover line, thank God. But it is still, you know, really low for what I would like. Um, it's still not above. It's actually at my first temperature after ovulation. And I'll show it to you. So it went back up, but actually, you know, it's actually lower than my first temperature. But at least it's there. Um, I am having um, creamy CM. Um, I had quite a bit of it today, like a lot. Um, a lot more than yesterday. And I have had to use the restroom a whole lot more today, but I'm not reading anything into that because, I mean, that's just, you know, you could just have a day where you need to potty a lot. Um, my, you know, my BBs are, are tender, but that probably has a lot to do with the progesterone, and it all, they always are. Um, they did get tender later, though. I was expecting them to be t tender earlier with Clomid. Um, but actually they didn't get tender till after ovulation. And usually for me, they're tender before. Um, I think that's pretty much it. My back's been hurting. My mood swings are terrible. I just got off the phone with my mom a while ago and I was just like, you know what? I want medicine. Probably shouldn't be having this conversation right now. Um, cause I'm crazy. So let's just not talk about this cause I was being like really rude. Um, not, not rude, but just short like I didn't need to hear anything anyone else was saying I just wanted to get my point across and that was it and I'm normally like that if I'm like 
dealing with a rude, crazy person I don't know. But I'm not you know, like that with my family or friends, so I feel kind of bad. I have to call and apologize to her later. Um, but I have been very short when it comes to unhappiness, like, or, or an argument or something. Um, other than that, though, I'm pretty happy. You know, when I'm at work, we giggled and laughed and had a good time today. Um, but if a line is crossed where I'm not happy, I'm just evil. So I have to pay more attention to that. Um, I guess that's pretty much it. Not really many more updates for today. Just waiting on the doctor to please call me and tell me what the numbers are. And I will update you as soon as I find out what that is. I'm off the next two days. So I'm working on a business plan for my parents' park, and I'll be going to see my husband at the um, at the property at uh, the river that I have a video of. That's wonderful. I'm gonna go relax and enjoy myself. I had to groom one of my dogs today because it was so messy. Um, but that's it. I hope you guys have a good day, and I hope to update you with some great news tomorrow. Hopefully, thanks. Bye.